guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, this evening I'm going to do a few things and one of those is show you that I did cut the table down so the body is now about that much shorter. So it did make a difference. I mean, I, I, hopefully not too much of a difference. I realize um, a table should come to about the hips. And if I saw my old one, I would measure it, but uh, I don't see it. So what I'll probably do is come up to the tip top on this. Like, come up to the tip top. So that'll give it about the right height that I need. So I will get that done. And I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to round these off on the ends. So the table's done. Um, as far as modifying it, um, I am going to paint it. And what I'm going to do for the top is just cut another circle out. And put, um, I just thought it was a nice idea to do the flowers. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut like this, like I did the siding for the, the Arthur. I'm going to make strips out of chipboard and I'm going to make it look like planks and the chairs will look like planks inside and out. The whole thing will look like a series of planks and then somehow I have to put weight in the front um, because like I was telling you before once this top goes back it's a little top heavy. So I'm not going to do the planks until um, later after we finish the little cabinet if there's time because i got the little cabinet glued together and i'm not going to paint these sides just yet because i do want to do um some sort of a little cutout or stencil and i have um these which i thought was kind of cool so i could cut the paper to fit here, here, and here, and then just take that out of the middle. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know, but we are gonna. Um, I don't know if I want to do the top like that or not because I want the top smooth to be setting stuff on it. So I'm just gonna leave this side open, this side open, and we're gonna paint the rest. And I think we're gonna go with this beautiful. It's called Ink Spot. And it is, let's test it. We can test it on the back of the bottle. Let me take you down to where the work is. Okay, so we can test this blue paint to see if it's going to be a match or not. I think, let's see where you can see. Yeah, it's pretty dark. Yeah, I think this is going to be it because there's some parts inside the the um, kitchen that are really dark blue. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go with ink spot. And i got to get a little bit of water. There's my paint already because this is a really small. Although, you know, I can do the corners. Really thick paint, let me tell you. Let me shake it up. I'll be right back. I'm going to shake this paint really good. Okay, maybe I got enough. Um, I am going to get a thicker paintbrush and then I'll use that small one if. Ah, this one's stiff. There we go. If I can't reach all of the corners. So we're just going to paint this, this beautiful ink spot blue. And I'm going to leave these sides open until I get the, you know what? No, I'll figure it out as I go. I think that I can actually paint the middle and just leave the edges open so that the, the trim will glue down. 
I got this. So, okay, anyhow, I think this is going to be a really good color. Once I get enough of it done, I'll show you. I don't know if you can see. It's going to be, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do the top because I'm not going to. It's dark, but I really want, I think if memory serves me, we were talking about doing all of the dark, dark colors. And then, uh oh, yeah, I thought I'd messed up. Doing the, like, contrasting colors that would make the kitchen just kind of pop. So I'm going to do blue for the cabinets. Um, I'm going to do blue, and I'll show you here just in a second. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. And this is multi-surface paint that I'm using. I'll come back and do the sides later. I was going to do the... The hangy thingy and copper so I still might and I'll have a copper I think I'll use this but you see I'm gonna do the pots and pans homemade or use my no I think I'm gonna go blue guys I really think I'm gonna go blue but I'll go a dark blue and then come in with the light blue maybe see yeah I think I'm gonna go with the dark blue okay so I'm gonna get this painted and then we'll come back and we'll see where we're at and what we have time for be right back okay guys we are back I got almost all of the paint off of me and almost all of the paint on the furniture um so while I was actually painting still cleaning up um, I decided to go ahead and go with the dark blue on the uh, pot hanger as well and then I thought you know I can go back in and I can make this stainless steel I can make this copper I can make this any color really I want I could do a bronze I could do anything um, so it'll just have a base coat on it if I don't like the blue so that wasn't a loss and I managed to get the cabinet painted and then I went ahead and painted the sides just because I realized I can go over this um, I can make a stencil with my Cricut and I'll stencil something that goes up here and here um, on both sides so that wasn't bad for one night um, and I will figure out a nice stencil maybe some because we have chickens we have teapots we have hearts, we have apples, um, looks like either daisies or fried eggs. I really haven't decided which is which, but so we have some choices and <clears throat> I'm still going to make the table a plank table like I was telling you and I, I will get that done um, on our next video maybe tonight. Um, sorry for the sudden change of the camera view. Maybe tonight, but I'm not going to guarantee it. Because I have some other stuff to do. Um, I still have to um, upload a junk journal jur uh, upload a junk journal video. And um, again, I'd like to get into um, some other stuff on the kitchen. Um, I'm thinking I might do homemade blue pots and pans with the gray speckles. Or I might do gray pots. I, I'm not sure yet. Um, I picked out all of the colors. These I picked out colors I thought would match. I'm definitely going to incorporate some of the red here and there. Not a lot, but some. And some of the yellow. Um, so there'll be chickens and hearts and speckles and teapots. and Maybe just teapots. Maybe I'll do some little gray teapots. I don't know yet. Um... I'm still kind of playing with it. I don't want to overcrowd it. Like I said, it's not a very big um, room, but maybe I'll make a gray teapot. Maybe I'll make some gray stoneware, and that will be what we serve 
our meals in. So anyhow, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And um, thank you for watching me get the furniture painted and moving towards our next step. So thanks for watching. Please keep subscribing um, at 500 subscribers, and I'm a long ways from there. But at 500 subscribers, I'll be doing another giveaway. All right, guys. Thanks a million. Keep watching. Bye.